Moving on to alcohol reactions, of course, is combustion. So combustion is always, uh, we're always assuming it's complete combustion unless it's stated. Uh, so that's carbon dioxide and water. Make sure you can balance those. Um, states uh, may or may not be important depending on the context, but in certainly in a lot of cases, the mark schemes are not asking for states. Uh, make sure you draw the states because in some instances it's critical. Okay, now we can look at oxidation. So we need an oxidation agent, something that gets reduced. Uh, we generally say tertiary alcohols do not get oxidized basically because these groups cause steric hindrance. 3D, the 3D orientation blocks um, because there's, there's hydrogens coming off here as well, uh, blocks things coming in and reacting with this. Uh, with the, the secondary alcohols, um, there's not much we can do as far as we can rip this off, uh, but with primary alcohols, uh, we've got different stages of further oxidation that can occur. Uh, so you need to know secondary alcohols go to ketones, primary alcohols go to aldehydes and carboxylic acids. And so the oh, this we'll go into this a little bit more in the next slides. Um, you don't need to learn these um, NnO2 minus and uh, Cr2 O72 minus. Uh, that's fine to write that as your uh, conditions and they're straight from the data booklet. But you will need to know it goes from uh, a red or a purple to a brown color and sort of a yellow to a green. Um, you'll need to know that those are the color changes as these things get reduced. As you can see, their oxidation numbers are decreasing uh, because they are um, oxidizing agents. So this here is, is rather important. First of all, to get the aldehyde, you can see here that this has hydrogen bonding, but this only has dipole. Uh, and so the boiling point of uh, this will be much lower. And so this thing will evaporate off and you can collect it with distillation. However, if you want to further oxidize it to the carboxylic acid, uh, you're going to have to not let it escape and find a way to cool down and go back and get further oxidized. Uh, and so you need to use this. This is called a reflux system, or is this is just simple distillation. Okay, so I don't learn uh, alcohols to carboxylic acids, aldehydes to carboxylic acids. I just look at the OH and I think, well, what could be done to make, to make it less hydrogens or more oxygens? The first thing I can do is obviously rip off the H. Uh, the next thing I could obviously do is add a hydrogen, uh, add, a, add another oxygen to it. Uh, and so I can do that. So that's how I learn it goes from, um, it goes from here, it goes from an alcohol to a um, carboxylic, uh, sorry, an aldehyde to a carboxylic acid, just by consecutively taking off more hydrogens or adding more oxygens to it. Uh, next, uh, next one here is um, if you want to form an ester, uh, just remember when you're trying to do reactions, look for, in these instances, this is a condensation reaction, look for small molecules like NH, uh, NH3, HCl, or H2O. Um, here we could find a H2O that we can rip off, uh, and so we can take those and join those two together, uh, and so that's how we get a carboxylic acid and alcohol to form an ester. Uh, and so look for those little molecules as, as clues, especially the OH and the H. Um, they're going to be very reactive. So this is very positive. This here is very negative. So surprise, surprise, they actually join up and pop off as a stable, simple molecule. All right, uh, why would it do such a thing? Well, it's a lower energy molecule and there is more uh, randomness entropy, which we don't teach you, but whenever there is uh, less energy and more randomness, uh, that's what's going to happen. Uh, and that's the state of all uh, all of chemistry. All of chemistry is trying to do that. Uh, and biology is um, doing the opposite. So biology is causing uh, all this order and complexity uh, and high energy. And the universe, uh, which is chemistry and physics, is is working to, to destroy that, basically. Um, so just a quick overview on um, entropy and enthalpy of why things are always doing uh, reacting in these ways.